Humans have been witness to many disasters over the course of their time here on planet Earth. Humans have a remarkable ability to withstand catastrophic weather, geological hellscapes, and the harshest of conditions. Some cataclysms, though, are brought on by humans themselves. Some humans seek to build up the world, others seek to destroy it, but some take it too far. This is the story of one of those destructions. Stuart Williams was born on March 10th, April in Puxa County, Texahoma. We may not have known it then, but this would forever change the course of history. It wasn't until nearly 20 years after his birth, however, that this change would come into effect. For on that day, the Great Fall was simply a ticking time bomb that sat idly right under the nose of not one, but four United States presidents. But it wasn't always this way. Stewart's bookshelf used to be a thriving community, as shown in this clip of pre-incident footage taken just minutes prior to the incident, directly from Stewart's mobile device. First stop, Anakin, we got some clones back there, Wolf, and then phase one clone, and then we got Kit Fisto facing off against, uh-oh, Grievous. And then we got um, Solo, Han, and Lando right there. At approximately 10.02 in the evening, Stuart moved to replace the Anakin Skywalker figure that had fallen over. As he rebalanced the figure on his bookshelf and took his hands off of it, local meteorologists noticed an anomaly. The fleshy bit on the back of his pinky was approaching Kit Fisto rapidly. The meteorologists were frozen in horror, unable to act as that bit struck the figure, causing it to fall into the back wall of comic books. That domino effect caused a catastrophic loss of life, like figures. War historian Andrew Panning comments on the Great Fall's significance. Can you summarize the Great Fall's importance in world history? Well, sure, when Rome fell... No. In the months since the Great Fall, we took a look at the effect this great tragedy had on those closest to it. Has the Great Fall affected your relationship to Stuart in any way? No, not at all. And do you know why? Because it's just a bunch of plastic figures. Like, I, I literally have some. Do you think I cry when they fall over? Absolutely not. Maybe this has affected our relationship. So how has the dynamic of the apartment changed in the months since the Great Fall? Great Fall? What's that? Wait, is that when all those figures fell over? Don't be so dramatic. When the Ottoman Empire collapsed. Uh, no. Has your close relationship to the Great Fall caused you to alter your behavior in any way? In a sense, yes. And not in my own personal day to day, but my behavior towards Stuart? Yes. It's gone to the point that I can't mention Star Wars anymore. Star Wars. Like, that's an entire personality trait of his, just out the window. I'm, I'm sorry, could you explain which Great Fall? The Great Fall of the Action Figures. Can you explain the Great Fall of the Action Figures' importance to world history? Not if I want to keep my credibility. 